Awesome, thank you. We are here for happy hour at Blue Ribbon. She's grabbing a different menu for us. This place is really dark and pretty. I'm having the black flag. John is still deciding. I'm suggesting the Southern Gentleman, which is what the waitress also suggested. And we're using the happy hour menu. So we're gonna get everything on the regular appetizers menu and nothing on the desserts. So we'll show you all of that. But let me clarify is clarified milk punch rum, fresh fruits and spices. And mine, the black flag, is cognac, spiced rum, Benedictine, and vermouth. So here is the black flag. I haven't tried it yet because I'm waiting for John's to come out, but it smells really good and sweet. Like it looks like a straight drink, but it's very good smelling. And then we're gonna start with the sashimi and the waitress said she'll work us into the heavier items. There's John's, let me clarify. I don't know if you can see it. It's not, I thought it was gonna be milky. It's very clear. Yeah. All right, our first drink in Vegas. Cheers. What is your drink taste like? It's, a, it's like gingerbread cookies and milk. It and is, it is so good. And it has a square ice cube, if you can see. Mine? I was I thought mine tasted like gingerbread until I tried his. That's pretty terrific actually. It's so good too. It's spicy. Ooh, <laughs> that's really nice. No, that one's like Okay, so the black flag. Okay, it's, it's like molasses. molasses. And the let me clarify is like gingerbread cookies. I can't believe that might be the best thing, best He's cocktail I've ever had. <laughs> Which is kind of what we're expecting at the places that we go here. We really want to try the signature cocktails in each restaurant. So this is a good start. We both like it really spicy. So we just put all that wasabi into the cup of soy sauce and we'll try this sashimi. Four gorgeous slices. I don't know what that is. We'll have to look back at the menu and find out. <laughs> There's the hummus and pita with vegetables. So the waffle chip dish is the steak tartare. And then this is the charcuterie board. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. And now we're on to our second round of cocktails. We're gonna try the Southern Gentleman and the Old Fashioned, which our waitress said is the most popular here. The charcuterie board comes with these like pickled cauliflower pieces. John doesn't even eat cauliflower and he's trying it. And then it's got two types of mustard, cheese, and two types of meat with some bread. The steak tartare, look at this. Capers and little pickles with the waffle chips. It's amazing. The flavor combination. Yum. Plus, this place is just gorgeous. The steak tartare, the hummus, and the charcuterie board are almost equal as far as well, being worth it. I would recommend you get all of them if the you're hummus, coming here. The hummus is, you know, it's such a pedestrian food, but I mean, it's just fresh and really good and just a really nice flavor. The steak tartare is just a terrific treatment. Really, really good. Yeah, the charcuterie board comes with a lot of stuff, so it's very filling. If you're wanting to get filled up, I would recommend the charcuterie board. The steak tartare is not a super filling dish, but it's very high quality. And the hummus is just delicious. John asked if I really wanted to get it, but once you try it, it's just so fresh and really good. I mean, all of this is such a good introduction to our stay here because I've been talking the Cosmopolitan up to John ever since we met. And what a great first impression I think. I think so too. Yeah. This is worth trying. Understanding you're eating this with charcuterie board. 
the most mellow, flat bread. Yeah, no really good. If you can see, these are the two new cocktails. We have the Old Fashioned here, which has a pretty toothpick. And then the Southern, is this the Southern Gentleman? This is not a toothpick, this is a cherry. It's oh, okay. a cherry. Well, anyway, did you try this one? Yes, it's terrific. Terrific, and I, we haven't tried this one. Back, a little orange sting, and it's really very good. So, ooh, that's strong. This is supposedly the most popular here. Can I try this one? Okay, that's light and refreshing. This is knock you on your ass. <laughs> well, the final dish of our happy hour tasting just got here. It's 6.45, so we've been here an hour and 15 minutes, and it looks awesome. It's the baked clams. Our waitress has been amazing and we spoke with her about our plans while we're here in the Cosmo, including our dinner tomorrow at STK. We already have some reservations about that because I've read reviews and people say it is so loud, you can't even have a conversation with your partner and all of these other things because we're a little uh, underwhelmed about what the food options will be. Gosh, really terrific clams. I mean, this restaurant has been amazing. I don't know how any of the other ones are going to live up to this. I mean, it's just expert food preparation. Every single dish is so good. Our waitress came back to ask what our favorite thing was. And it's like, we actually can't decide. Everything lives up to what it says no, on the this menu. Is a, and this is a, yeah, that's right. This is a... Pick what you want on the menu, it'll be done right. So as well. and then, oh. oh my gosh, how are these? Amazing. Excellent. We were really just good. saying everything is better than you would think. Oh yeah, it definitely depends. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. They just brought hot, wet towels to wash our hands with.